So this morning, one of the Rasayanika student emailed me asking, sir, how can I get industrial dissertation? And I thought, okay, this is a question which should be addressed for both Biotechnica and Rasayanika. So I'm making a joint video for both the brands, both the subscribers of Rasayanika and Biotechnica. So first things first, how to approach companies will come secondary. The first thing is you should stop watching this video if you don't have two things. The first is communication skills and professionalism. If these two things are there, then only you should continue watching this video. Because these two things, if they are lacking, you cannot get into industrial anything. Okay, so whether it is industrial dissertation, industrial training, anything you want in industry, you should have strong communication skills, you should know the right choice of words, when to use what, and you should always be polite and professional. Right. Okay. I'm assuming that you have all of them because most of the students have that. Okay. Let's start with the first point for today. Now, one important aspect is you have to know that it, getting a dissertation is like your earring fell in sand. So now you are searching on the beach. There is sand. You're searching for that earring, right? In so much of sand, hardly you'll get right the same way you have to go through numerous rejections to get one application selected for industrial dissertation. So you have to first identify the potential companies and it should be in at least say 100 companies or 50 companies or 10 companies. You should identify that. Okay, these are the companies where I'm, I want to work. So once you have done that, create an Excel sheet. Okay, first column, name of the company, second column, key contact, the third column, location, the fourth column, where what is the status of application okay and start sending your so you have now relevant industry uh, companies ready list is ready now you have to do research before you actually send an email or contact them you have to do research what exactly this company is doing right so now you have to tailor make your application so develop your proposal so it should be clear and concise proposal and if you're using chat gpt please make sure that you know you have your own inputs also otherwise they can easily make out anybody i can also make out that you have written through chat gpt and you know it's all very similar so let's not use that instead write it on your own address the challenges uh, which your which the company is facing and where you can be helpful and show the value proposition you have to notice that why you why majority of the applications rege get rejected while some of them will get selected is because industry is full of busy people right they don't have time for this right so if they have to accommodate you they don't want to babysit you they want you to assist them they want you to help them right so you have to show that value proposition in the proposal why exactly they should select you Next is the contact person. So you can find them on LinkedIn and various company websites of those particular uh, companies and then you can contact them and you should know that if you are trying to for, for big companies, billion dollar companies, they will never respond. Start for, you know, approach smaller companies, small startups in biotechnology, chemistry and they will respond. If you are trying uh, for a big company, they will, they may not respond, right? So research the contacts, what kind of research they are doing, what kind of work they are doing or if maybe the manager or somebody, HR manager reach out to them you can reach out through linkedin you can reach out through email you can reach out through phone and you have to be very professional right now write a professional email attach the proposal introduce why you want to do it who are you introduce why who are you what is your background uh, what is the purpose and why you are so much interested in this com particular company to do your training or dissertation and be very very polite and professional and if they reply saying that no uh, sorry we cannot ac accommodate you this time remember that rejection is not a rejection it's just a postponement of selection so you, you can always reply that we completely understand and appreciate your reply if you could let me know any tentative date in the future where when I can come and take the training or dissertation. So you have to be very professional, courteous and polite in your email. Next is if they do not reply, follow up and be persistent. So every three days or five days, you can drop as a reminder email that sir, I had sent this email if you could probably respond. So you can I, you can follow this formula where you first send an email, then approach on LinkedIn and then uh, WhatsApp them in uh, on phone if you have the phone number. So be polite in the follow up, be persistent and increase your chances of success by 
volunteering by saying that hey i don't want any kind of stipend i just want to help i just want to learn i want to become a future industry partner a future employee of this company so i want to make sure that i learn things and as a student if i can get a chance i'm sure you were also student at some point in time if you could help me something like that right and always be ready they may call you anytime for uh, the meetings you don't know which uh, particular company will uh, be ready to train you so you know be prepared for the meetings um, be thorough with your preparation have a strong communication and be flexible with your approach they may ask you like okay can you come today okay yes they may ask you um, will you be available virtually for a meet meeting or an interview you know you you can't afford to say a no so you have to be flexible with that now very importantly is uh, look for networking opportunities biotechnica is also going to conduct various uh, rasayanika is also going to conduct various networking events in um, uh, biotechnica and rasayanika bangalore industry events are there you can always go there you have bangalore tech summit you have uh, ibiom so wherever professionals are there you can always reach so network and connect with professionals on linkedin virtually or in person and then you start um contacting them at all times maintain professionalism give timely responses be respectful with your communication and adhere to whatever they say it's not that they say sorry it's not possible and, uh, and you start asking why it is not possible don't uh, be unprofessional and also very importantly you can leverage your university and college resources like your uh, professor your principal your department head your uh, friends and seniors or uh, university also has career services uh, or alumni associations you can reach out or somebody who is in the alumni and who is also working in that particular company you can reach out and contact them and see if they can help so these are some things you have, you should know another thing very important is be prepared to discuss that uh, the confidentiality clause they, they may ask you that you have to sign a non disclosure agreement if you want to work with us so you you should not be like okay uh, what is that i don't know so you should be aware that there is a non disclosure agreement if you're going to take training under any company and you should always make sure that you are ethical in your approach you are punctual you are uh, professional and your communication skills must be uh, at par with what they expect right so, and that too i'm talking about english communication skills if in case it is a, a highly organized uh, you know organization so yeah so these were the pointers which i wanted to share and uh, like i said earlier uh getting a acceptance from industry is like finding gold in sand your gold fell down in sand and now you are searching so you will get 99 rejections but definitely you will get one selection but for that to happen you have to approach 100 companies right so you have to first find out a list of 100 companies whom you want to approach the key contacts find a network with them on linkedin and approach them and definitely you will achieve success so these were the pointers these were the steps which i wanted to share if you have any questions or comments you can always write to me at shekhar@biotechnica.org or comment below if i find time i will definitely reply thank you so much please take care bye bye